Hey YouTube, for today's project we're going to be installing this offset timing key on our Baja Warrior mini bike. This will advance the ignition and hopefully give us a little bit more power. For the first step, we're going to have to remove these covers so that way we can access the flywheel. Now that we got the cover off, you just need to use an impact gun to remove this uh, Take the fan and the starter off. Now since this won't come off, we'll have to bang on it to get it off. If you don't have a flywheel puller that will work with this, you gotta do what I'm gonna do is use a big flat blade screwdriver and a hammer. It's important though that you take the nut and install it back over these threads. This way when you're banging on the uh, crankshaft with the hammer, you don't mess up the threads, you're just hitting the side of the, uh, the nut. So you're going to take your screwdriver, you're going to jam it underneath and pull back on the flywheel. And then we're going to hit the crankshaft to give it some vibration shock. That'll loosen it up. And I think that did it. Yep. There we go. With the flywheel off, this is what it's going to look like. You can see because this is the uh, Baja Warrior with the headlight, it's got the uh, extra lighting coils. That's what these two guys are right here. Crankshaft, and then there's your timing key that we're going to be replacing with this offset one. So we got to pry the old one out. Looks like it's in there pretty good and put the new one in. All right, for this part, we're going to pull out our big flat blade screwdriver again. We're going to set it down on here under the key. Give it a couple of whacks with the hammer, see if we can get the key to pop out. There we go. There's the old key. Alright, now you can really start to see the uh, difference in these two keys. Here's the uh, profile of the stock one, looks like just a regular uh, key. And then here's the new one, which is offset. You can see so it kind of has like this Z shape to it. And that's going to move the indexing of the flywheel over just a few degrees, and actually it's going to move it by 6 degrees, because I bought a 6 degree timing key. So, is all we got to do now is just set our timing key down into the uh, slot on the crankshaft. You want to make sure that the uh, key is recessed all the way down below the uh, crankshaft. And ideally, you want the top surface to be uh, collinear with the axis of the crankshaft, so not sticking up in the back or sticking up in the front too high. This one actually fits down in there pretty good. All right, now we just got to put our... Uh flywheel back on the crankshaft. This part can be a little bit tricky because you got all these magnets that are trying to suck itself onto these different pieces of metal. So I find it best if you get down right in line with the crankshaft so that you can see and try to feed the, uh, the key on uh, with the correct alignment. Be careful uh, with your fingers because the magnets can uh, pinch your fingers if they pull on the flywheel at the wrong time. All right. So that looks like it's on. All right, now we just got to reinstall our fan. Just kind of fits over like this. And then the uh, basket for the starter. And then we can put the nut back on. According to a bunch of videos online, this nut gets torqued to uh, about 60 foot pounds. But in my case, I'm just going to zap it on with this guy. Alright, now we just need to reinstall our cover. Alright, now we 
we just gotta make sure it runs.